welcome back to my channel and thank you for watching. Today I'm going to share with you my struggles with the mail and they're real. Let me tell you, I don't know about you, but my struggles with the mail are so real. Let me start from the beginning. Before I started trying to get the clutter under control in our house, the mail was always front and center. You open the front door and there it was all over the front hall table. And if there was not enough room on the table, well, it moved to a different table or a couch or something like that. And it was all over the place. And it just created such a mess. And I think it led to other messes in the house. So when I started working on getting the clutter out of my house, I realized I needed to get the mail under control. Now, if you've ever watched a video, uh, not a video, it's a podcast. If you ever watched a podcast called A Slob Comes Clean, you'll know what I'm talking about. Dana loves containers and that's what I've done here. I put my mail in a container and when it comes into the house it has to go in here. Now in an ideal world I'd handle this once a week but my world is not ideal so it's not once a week it's more than that but at least it's not all over the place and this is what my goal is. What I'm trying to do is when I get the mail I usually try to take the flyers out and stuff like that. I quickly look at the ones I really want to look at and the ones I don't, I put in the recycle bin. And then I check to see if there's anything I really need to handle immediately. And then everything else can go until the weekend. And then I sort through it on the weekend. sorted everything. Anything that has to be handled is in one pile that I have to go through again. And that's usually like bills. Once, or receipts, that's another thing. So once I'm done with that, anything that has to be recorded, like my bills, my receipts, or anything like that, I put into here. It's my budget journal. And this, I'm going to say, is probably where I'm falling down the most. I hate doing it. <laughs> I really just don't like making it. I really should computerize it, but I don't want it on the computer, so I don't know. I gotta figure this one out. But what I do is I set up a uh, once a month. I'm ready for July, yay! Um, but I put the date, what it was for, and the amount, and I do it by the week, and it just gives me an idea of what we're spending and how much we're spending and where we really need to slow down on spending. So it is helpful. I just don't like doing it. I have to figure out something else because sometimes. I don't want to do it, so I put off handling the mail, which is not a good thing. Anyway, the other thing I do is this. I clean out my bag once a week because now is the time I'm going to take out all my receipts. All the receipts. I go through here. I'm, I don't want to show you my receipts, but I'm taking them all out. I go take out all my receipts, I go through the bag, I look for receipts, and sometimes, this is also the time, if I haven't already, like if there's something that I'm using for tax deduction for work, I spend a few moments to make a note on the back of the receipt what it's for so I know what it is, but I go through my wallet, I take out all my receipts. You can tell I haven't done this in a couple weeks. And I have to say, what I like about it is it makes my handbag really neat. So now I have to sit down and enter everything into my books, but I'm not going to show you that because this is a lot of personal data. Sorry. So once I'm done sorting the mail, anything that I don't need right now, like receipts and stuff like that, I put in here. Once I've written down, once I've put them in my book, I put them in here. I put in my medical um, bills and stuff like that. And I have one folder for credit cards and another one for all household stuff. Before, years ago, I used to have every credit card company name and all that, and that was just too much. So now I'm just throwing all the credit card statements in here. And yes, I am not online. I haven't gone paperless, but this works for me so that's why i do it this way and i hope next year when i go to do my taxes it'll be much easier so 
this is how I've been handling my mail. It's not perfect, and I still have a long way to go, but it's better than I was before. If you have any suggestions and you want to put them in the comment box below, I would appreciate it because I'm always looking for ideas to help me. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Bye for now.